This is something you don't hear too much about, but looking at phosphorus concerns related to cannabis production. Here on Debaku University, we're going to look at some of what's happening with the phosphorus fertilizer and how this relates to the cannabis industry. All right, let's go over some phosphorus concerns in relation to cannabis production. So first off, phosphorus is an important plant nutrient. While phosphorus is needed by plants, uh, growers often apply phosphorus in quantities that the plant cannot simply consume, leading to wasting the nutrient. A lot of these phosphorus fertilizers come very potent. This creates the potential for environmental contamination and also increased cost with no return on investment. So you're contaminating the environment and increasing your cost without increasing your yields, uh, all negative situations there. So let's look at the, some of the phosphate mines. So there's limited reserves worldwide, only seven mines in the US with the majority coming from Florida. Here's the world total of nitrogen consumption, phosphorus consumption, look at nitrogen phosphorus again, we see Asia kind of increasing the fertilizer consumption um, overall. So we are seeing this trend in increased need for phosphorus, even though worldwide it's very limiting. So let's look at the U.S. mined uh, data here of phosphate rock from the year 1900 to 2015. The amount of U.S. mined phosphorus has shown uh, a decrease since the kind of 1980s or so. Many would think this would correlate with a decrease in demand or consumption. However, th this graph does not tell the full story. While it is true, remarkable rock phosphate uh, in metric tons mined in the United States is has been on the decrease since the 1980s. However, when I say it doesn't contain the full story, this contains a little bit more of that fuller picture. Because while U.S. mined phosphorus has decreased over the same time period, the U.S. has gone from an exporter to an importer of rock phosphate. This is in part due to the decrease in purity of phosphorus mines in the United States. See here in 1980s, we did a lot of exporting. Exporting decreased, and now imports are on the increase. So we're taking more phosphate in from other countries. So why focus on phosphorus? Well, it's a nutrient that growers tend to overapply due to the idea that it will induce flowering. So while important for flowering, growers tend to overapply it, which is a concern due to the potential problems facing phosphorus in the near future. So we want to be mindful of these super strong potent fertilizers. We need to use them in very limiting quantities. We don't want to just keep adding a bunch of these because we'll be wasting that phosphorus, which is a very precious nutrient. So at limited resource, so phosphorus is a kind of non substitual component of all living organisms. This nutrient is critical element for plant growth and as a result also the food chain. Using fertilizer derived from phosphate rock has made an increase in food production possible and reduced the malnourishment since the mid 20th century. All very good things. However, recent worries about the future so shortage of phosphorus have sparked debate over the lifespan of existing reserves, and all kind of put at varying degrees of when we will actually run out. Now, it, this is a freshwater contaminant, so phosphorus can speed up the eutrophication, which is a reduction in dissolved oxygen in freshwater bodies caused by an increase of mineral and organic nutrients of rivers and lakes. Soil erosion is also a major contributor of phosphorus to streams. However, it's not just limited to streams. Here's an algal bloom of Lake Erie taken from a satellite in 2011. We can see all this green is where all of the algae blooms are occurring. This is one of the Great Lakes. So while we may see it in small rivers and ponds, it's also a concern there. This can also impact the large scale. So as cannabis growers, they need to be aware of not over adding phosphorus. Uh, and to be mindful of this limited uh, resource and to not create environmental pollutants that could affect very large-scale bodies of water. <laughs>